This is the true heart of Europe. And here lies a country renowned for its majestic monuments, charming countryside, and bustling cities. But what secret ingredient sets the French apart from all these nations around it? In this video, we'll analyze and talk about the country's meticulously crafted infrastructure built upon the foundation of foresight and long-term maintenance. Imagine you went back in time. What kind of infrastructure would you have seen in ancient times in France? Well, France's history of revolutionizing the field goes way back. They've picked things up from the ancient Romans, the original blueprint for an advanced civilization. These builders marched across the land ages ago and left behind technologies and ideas that still shape France today. The complex road system stretching for miles, bridges built across big rivers, and aqueducts bringing water to towns were all influenced by Roman civilization. These weren't just normal structures. They made trade happen, built communication around the world, and got armies where they needed to be. The Roman Empire was all about getting things done, and the French people took notice. Jump ahead to the Middle Ages, and France was a patchwork quilt of fortified towns. Each place had its own walls, streets, and gates. Rulers were spending fortunes trying to make their cities the fanciest, and even though things were all over the place back then, it set the stage for the busy cities and connected communities France has now. Then came the 19th century, and Emperor Napoleon III named George Eugene Hausmann the Prefect of Seine. Together, they agreed that Paris needed a facelift, and Hausmann had big ideas. He planned out wide streets with trees, big squares buzzing with life, and roads that flowed like rivers. His plans weren't just about making Paris look pretty. They made it safer and more organized, too. Thanks to Hausmann, city planning became an art form, and France showed the world how it's done. After that, France changed rapidly as more and more folks moved into the cities and suburbs, leaving the countryside looking much more different. But the cities? Well, they're stuck in kind of a pickle. Crime rates began climbing, so the government had to develop better infrastructure to make them safer and nicer to live in. Now, up in the north, there used to be tons of industrial factories churning out material, but things eventually slowed down. Those old factories were suddenly not as busy as they once were, and so the economy quickly shifted gears. But down in the west and south, places that weren't big on factories before suddenly began getting in on the action. They began diving into new industries like fancy technology and eco-friendly energy, and people liked these places more for living, working, and even taking vacations. But how did all these changes happen? Well, it's partly thanks to France's fancy rail invention called the TGVs. These high-speed trains zipped across the country faster than you can blink and made it easier for folks to get around. This has helped businesses grow and gave people more chances to find work. However, France was on a developmental mission and put the focus on making their infrastructure more eco-friendly and accessible. The government introduced its grand plan called Plan Relance in 2020 and they pumped a whopping $118 billion into it. A big chunk of that cash is now being used to make things like water and electricity systems better, turn cities greener, and even protect wildlife. France has decided to step up to make the planet a better place to live. The Milau Viaduct is another one of their recent ventures, and this jaw-dropping bridge stretches high above a valley, connecting cities with style. It's not just supposed to look pretty, though because the designers made sure it was as gentle on the environment as possible. If you want to pick an entirely random spot anywhere on the map of France, let's say you landed here, how would you find out what's going on? You would need quick access to basic infrastructure like communication and travel after being dropped in the middle of nowhere. Well, believe it or not, but France boasts arguably the world's finest infrastructure. And the best part? It's available from almost anywhere inside France from cable TV, internet, and telephone services to the efficient metro, buses, and the RER train system. All are accessible to absolutely everyone. Paris has been designed from the ground up to be an entirely walkable experience. Just imagine, anyone can lead a car-free existence with ease, strolling to nearly any destination they'd want. If you think that's cool, leave us a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Now back to the topic at hand. Whether it's the local butcher, the neighborhood bakery, or the charming wine shop, everything is located within an easy 15-minute walk from virtually any point in central Paris. 
And if you decide to go beyond your local area and explore the country, the metro is there to take you around. It connects to every inch of the country, and it's available for only a couple of dollars. But the allure of France goes beyond its practical infrastructure. The city of Paris itself is a treasure trove of architectural marvels, historic landmarks, and meticulously tended gardens. In almost every corner, you'll find a fusion of beauty and functionality, making France a resounding infrastructural powerhouse. The country takes great pride in boasting one of the most advanced infrastructures worldwide. Thanks to significant government investment in transportation and remarkable technological advancements, the country has built a comprehensive network that exceeds expectations. Whether by air, land, rail, or river, getting around is a breeze, providing both convenience and comfort. The rail system in France is particularly important for its contribution to the country's infrastructural success over the years. It features some of the fastest trains in the world and is operated by the state-owned French National Railways, spanning an impressive 19,486 miles. In addition to the rail system, France maintains an extensive road network, with all roads, totaling about 514,065 miles, being paved for smooth travel. Nearly half of the country's waterways are also used for trade and travel, enhancing the country's connectivity even further. With a staggering 474 airports, many of which cater to international traffic, France ensures seamless air travel experiences for both domestic and international travelers. Among these airports, Charles de Gaulle stands out as one of the largest and most lavish, serving passengers from around the globe. The country's harbors and ports are also well-equipped to handle both freight and passenger ships, with major port cities including Mulhouse, Saint-Nazaire, Strasbourg, and Marseille, among others. But despite a complex network of travel, getting around in France is a piece of cake with all the different options for public transportation. If you're hopping on the metro, you can easily grab a single ticket for one euro 90, which gets you one trip along with any transfers you might need to make. Or if you're all about convenience, you can even buy a whole book of 10 tickets, called a carnet, for 16 euros. These are available at most ticket machines, metro stations, and even at the local tobacco shops. Now, if you're cruising around within the city limits on the Regional Express Network, aka RER, the prices and ticketing system are just like the metro. It's nice and simple, making it easy to maintain and improve over the long term. And did you want flexibility? Well, the ticketing system for buses is pretty much the same as the metro, giving you plenty of options in how you get around. But hey, there are a few exceptions to keep in mind, like the Noctilium night buses and certain routes with distance limits. Now, when it comes to communication infrastructure, France is practically leading the world. They're up there with the big dogs in Europe, ranking third in the telecom market. And leading the pack is a telecommunications giant, Orange Group, making sure folks stay connected with essential services. And you know what? The French government has really stepped up to the plate as well. They've made sure that the public has access to key communication services throughout the country. Internet access in France is available in almost every square inch of the country. You've got everything from free Wi-Fi hotspots to pay-as-you-go services, so you're never far from staying connected. When it comes to quality of life, France consistently shines as one of the top-ranking countries worldwide. In terms of healthcare infrastructure, France holds the position of being third in Europe and fifth in the entire world. What's more, healthcare services are entirely free for residents, ensuring that everyone has access to essential medical care when needed. With such excellent healthcare facilities, it's no wonder that France draws in over 79.5 million visitors per year. But the country's appeal goes beyond just healthcare. Its rich regional diversity adds to its allure, offering a unique experience no matter where you go within the country. With the superpower leading the way in sustainable infrastructure and innovative design, the possibilities are endless. But one thing's for sure, France will be at the forefront, paving the way towards a brighter tomorrow. Now, if you enjoyed this content, check out another one of our videos on our channel. Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.